What we tried to do in this project was to uh, bring avatar creation to the consumers. So until now, in um, high-budget movie productions or in computer games, they usually use complicated studios with uh, controlled lighting and a lot of high, uh, very expensive equipment. The acquisition is very, very simple. Uh, you just take your phone. It can be a very old phone. It doesn't really matter as long as it has a, an OK camera. And you just take a 3D selfie around your face and also a video where you do certain expressions that activate wrinkles around the different parts of your face. One of the main applications that we have in mind are uh, virtual reality and games. So in, uh, the, we play mostly in this sphere. The end product can be used on a, a normal device. So we, we close the loop. So we start by taking the data with the phone and we can play back the created avatar also on a phone or just on a simple laptop without the need for supercomputers or crazy graphics cards. Uh, one of the biggest challenges we had is the fact that we use only data from, uh, from an iPhone, from, from a phone camera. And uh, we can assume anything in terms of lighting or in terms of the angles from which the pictures and the video we need um, are taken from. Some of the, the things that we didn't tackle yet are things such as hair. The ears of the person are not modeled. We just stick normal ears onto the avatars. Um, and, and things inside the mouth. So the teeth and the tongue look the same for every single person. So these are venues for future research and things we are planning on looking into in the next years. Thank <laughs> you.